In the past, voters had to explain why they are voting early. But now, early and absentee voting is permitted for those who are either unable or just don't want to wait for Election Day. Early voting is the same as absentee voting, but allows the voters to come to the Board of Elections on Court Street to vote in person rather than the more complicated process of sending their ballot through the mail. Board of Elections Director Debbie Quivy is in charge of how the early voting works. It's absentee voting. It's not counted any sooner than the absentees. It's counted with the absentees. We do not do any uh, totaling of any votes or anything till 7.30 election night. Even though voters get to make their choices for presidential nominees weeks before the primary, the candidates won't know the results until the primary night on March 15th. We wait till other precincts come in and release the absentees. They, they are not a precinct within their self. They're added in to their precinct wherever that absentee falls. Early absentee voting started yesterday at 8 a.m. and will continue until Election Day at 2.30. If you need more information, you can visit the Board of Elections website to find out more times and places. The early voting in Ohio is being watched closely since Ohio is a swing state. Currently, candidates are gearing up for the South Carolina primaries this Saturday. South Carolina has been known in the past years, whoever come out of the Republican caucuses there usually went on to win the nomination. Quibi believes Ohio is being watched closely, partly because the nominee picked out of Ohio often goes on to win the White House. In the past, Ohio has always been a state that has helped pick the president. Penny Brooks is the deputy director of the Board of Elections and believes that the presidential elections always bring out the most voters. Which it seems like the last presidential we had people in line at 8 o'clock. Every day it seemed like it progresses. Early voting has also started in Texas.